Everyone who's seen this deck comes out and goes, oh, wow, oh, wow, this is huge. And it is, it's huge. Such a great space for us. It's just half our house again, such an easy space to be in. So we went to the home show and Darren was there and he was, I think it was like 10 o'clock at night by that point, it was right at the very last and he was just absolutely zonked but had plenty of time for us and all of my really weird little questions and he was great. He came in and said, look, what are you after? And we'd had a plan drawn up by a friend who's an architect and just drawn, drawn it by hand and he just kind of looked at that and went, yeah, well, we can do that but we can also just draw something for you and get it all through the sign-offs and do all the build permit bit for you and we were like well that's an obvious option like that was just so much easier. Darren was always really easy going and initially with the quote stage you know just super responsive and I said oh what about this what about that you know I wanted a gate and so we went off and got a quote for a gate and um, all those extra little bits. Well, I had a guy just a couple of streets away um, I found him online and so he, he just dropped by on his way home one night and he sort of went oh yeah you know threw me a price and it was 40 grand more. And I was just flabbergasted. I said, well, thanks, but no thanks. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, Darren's quote was great. We didn't want to deal with council. Uh, you know, I'm a town planner, but doing the building permit side of things is just a whole other realm. And just trying to get the plans drawn up and get the reports done up, all of that. It was just so easy to just go, here, Darren, do, just go do it. You know, we really wanted it to be done above board. We wanted it to have a proper plans, proper building permit. Um, you know, taking that all through all the right sign-offs. I couldn't live without having an outdoor space. I just get cabin fever straight up. Uh, so this was crucial for me. I, when we were first talking about getting the deck, we were talking about, oh, well, who's the deck for? And so my partner said, oh, yeah, that'll be my space. You know, I'll spend heaps of time out there. And I said, no, I think it's mine because it's nice to sit in the treetops and, um, you know, to be able to just sit out and breathe. got a big family, we've got 12 people who can come for just one side of the family for a meal and if we wanted to we could increase that out to about 20 people if we start inviting aunties and cousins. Um, so we needed a space that was big enough for that. Uh, so this is what it is, um, you know we can bring the dining table out if we want as well and uh, just extend it right out and uh, it's perfect for Christmas when we could have 30 people plus without even trying. The alternative for us was that we were all going to be cooped inside and uh, so to then have this outdoor second space is just half our house again and I know I can be in there cooking dinner, have a look out the window, there'll be you know children out here no problem and I don't have to worry. They can be outdoor kids you know they can actually be kids outside having a nice time and I can still be a mum inside you know making dinner or whatever it is. It's just such a nice space to be outside without being out in the elements and um, you know just sit and have a cuppa. an eco deck so um, he knew I was really keen on something that I would never have to do you know I'd, I'd never have to oil it sand it none of that business uh, no painting everything steel um, it's so hardy it's not funny being outdoors you want that sense of space above you and you know we're in quite a low ceiling house a low you know 50s home and so to have that space out here is really sort of refreshing you really get that airflow uh, the lights then follow through and through some cabling you can't see any of it but it's all you know up there in the roof and uh, you know it's all done really neatly they just did the whole lot